welcome back. We have Corporal Jody Schelke joining us on the show. It's great to have you back. Thank you. Yes, good to be about, here. Yeah, great to have you. Talking about a very timely topic right now, and that is uh, holiday time. We're all looking to take a little vacation time in the summer, uh, but you got to make sure you lock up tight when you go because uh, people know that you're on vacation at this time of the year. Yes. So my first recommendation is don't advertise that you're leaving on social media before you go. People are excited to go on vacation, but don't tell everybody on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And also, while you're on vacation, don't um, say what, what, where you're at eating and stuff like that. Oh, we're at this wonderful restaurant in Vancouver or whatever, because you're, again, advertising that you're not at home. So keep it private till you're back home and you have all your photos from your holidays and then put it on Facebook. Tell me this. I noticed that some people do that and then they tell me, oh, it's because my, uh, you know, my dad was staying there. Probably still not a good idea, even if they're no, a family member, no. because nobody wants to have a surprise burglar show up. Yeah, in house. exactly. Yeah. You know, and, and if your dad is staying at your house or if you have somebody staying at your house, which is what I recommend, if my second recommendation is, if possible, have somebody stay at your home. But they're not there 24 hours a day and, you know, they go to work or whatever and that's when somebody can, can go into the house as well. Mm -hmm. so, do, do the numbers back it up in terms of what you guys see for break-ins? Do, do break-ins go up in the summer? They do, yes. Yeah. 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 And, and it's not always break-ins of homes, but um, of of outbuildings and garages and things like that. Mm -hmm. So if possible, have somebody stay at your home. And if nobody's staying at your home, um, make your home look as if it's being lived in as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So have a neighbor park their car in your, your driveway. Mm -hmm. uh, ask a neighbor to take out your garbage can, even if it's empty, on garbage days, because uh, burglars will look for that, whether there's sure. a garbage can out in front of your house. Um, and something that is is very common with people that have been broken into when they go on vacation is they say I thought that door was locked or I thought that window was locked and they'll come back and somebody's gone in through their open on or unlocked basement window and they said oh geez you know we unlocked that window last fall for something for, to let the cat in and we thought we locked it again and we just never bothered checking everything well before you go on vacation check every single window and every single door whether you haven't used it in a year or not and you think nobody's been in or out just check every window and door mm -hmm. because thieves really are uh, they take advantage of opportunity and if the opportunity's there they'll go in how do they find the time to go through and check every window i guess if it's dark out and they figure nobody's around but yes. you can't do that in broad daylight no so it, it usually happens at night mm -hmm. and um um but it's usually that window you know, they'll go where their trees, trees are built up or the bushes are built up and bushy and they'll use that as cover while they go in to try windows. And that's often the window that's been left unlocked or something. Sure. Right. So, and there's some dog doors out there that are big enough for bodies to fit that's through. That's true. Yeah. So make sure you lock the dog doors. Take the ladders away. Uh, when you go on vacation, put your ladder inside the garage and lock the garage because they'll use a ladder to climb up to windows mm -hmm. on the second floor and so on. Um, stop your newspaper from coming. Uh, get, halt your mail, things like that. Mm -hmm. All things that will give tips to burglars that you're not home and mm -hmm. it's a good time to try. Mm -hmm. Especially when you have a family and you're so crazy getting organized for your vacation. The last yes. thing you really do, honestly, is go around and be completely militant about mm -hmm. every window. And if you're doing that, that's awesome. But I think that people are vulnerable a little bit in their uh, state of excitement. Yes. When you're planning your vacation, plan for your home at the same time. So yeah. Think about, I'm planning, you know, what hotels we're going to stay at, what restaurants we're going to, and at the same time, plan who's staying at our house or, you know, halting your mail, halting your newspaper. Mm -hmm. Take the steps to protect your house while you're gone. You'll, be, you'll feel so much more relaxed, and it's so, much, it's so nice coming home. And it's especially nice coming home and, you know, nobody's broken in and stolen anything. Absolutely. Not a way to end a vacation. Absolutely. Yep. All right. Corporal Jody Schalke, Camel Star CMP, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. We will take a quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us.